Question number five. The size of two interior angles of, a, of an irregular polygon each measures 90 degrees. Uh, all the other remaining interior angles each measures 150. Determine the number of sides of the polygon and you get, uh, you get three marks. Uh, so what you should remember that you are taught in form two is that the sum of the interior angles sum uh, of the interior angles equals to 2 n minus 4 uh, multiplied by 90 degrees so this is the formula that we use for example we know a triangle the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 can be able to show that uh, 2 the a triangle has three sides so we multiply by 3 and uh, we minus 4 and we multiply by 90 so this is equals to uh, 2 times 3 is 6 uh, multiply minus uh, 4 is 2 2 times 90 you get 180 so that is just to show you uh, that this is the, this formula works you can try with uh, with a rectangle which has four sides you'll be able to get the sum is equals to uh, 360 and so on and so on so that just uh, to demonstrate how you apply that formula so we come back to the question so we can be able to show that uh, uh, 2n uh, minus 4 uh, into bracket multiplied by 90 that is the sum of the interior angles is equals to from the information we are given we are told that two or two angles uh, it measures 90 so it means we multiply 2 multiply by 90 to be able to get the uh, total of uh, the two two angles then since uh, the number of angles equals to the number of sides so we what it means is that uh, the number of angles remaining uh, will be n minus 2 those are the number of angles remaining and I've said uh, the number of angles equals to the number of sides uh, then we multiply by each measures 150 we multiply by uh, or rather let's multiply that uh, terminate it properly 150 degrees so the, if we are able to now to solve for n then it will be it will give us the number of sides of the polygon so we multiply 2n multiply by 90 that will give us 180 uh, n minus 4 multiply by 90 that will give us minus 360 degrees is equals to uh, 2 times 90 that will give us 180 degrees plus you, you open the bracket uh, n multiplied by 150 that will give us 150 n minus 2 multiplied by 150 that will give us uh, 300 uh, deg 300 degrees so we can put the right terms together uh, so what we do is we take 150 to the other side it becomes uh, negative and we take 360 to the other side so then we end up with uh, 180 uh, that is uh, 108 180 n uh, this will be minus we take 150 to the other side 150 n it changes to uh, negative minus once it crosses the equal side is equals to 360 changes to positive so we can say 360 degrees my uh, plus uh, 180 degrees minus 300 180 n minus 150 that will give you 30 n is equals to 360 plus 180 that will give you 540 you can use your calculator if you are not able to add up the uh, overhead uh, 540 you minus 300 you end up with 240 degrees uh, so you divide by 30 I'll divide by 30 you get n is equals to uh, 8 uh, so n is equals to 8 and that is the we have said uh, a number of sides equals to the number of angles so this means n is also represent eight num eight sides so that's how you work out that so you should be able to get uh, you should be able to get a mark for this method mark uh, method mark 
and you get one uh, for the answer that totals to three and i hope you have understood so this formula is very important uh you always remember that formula when you are working with the num the sum of the interior angles of a triangle so i hope it is clear uh and you have understood how you would have solved that question